role in SAG-AFTRA is, what are you, you're the vice president? I'm the local first vice president. Mm -hmm. uh, I've, I've served the union in this local since 2000, uh, and I've had a lot of roles here locally. I've been just a local member. Uh, I was an officer in AFTRA when we were still two separate unions. I also have been the local SAG president when we were Screen Actors Guild. I also was on the Screen Actors Guild National Board for a short period of time. Um, and uh, so I've, I've, had, I've had many hats here. Uh, I still have a few, uh, and uh, I enjoy this service. I think it's important. What made you, as an actor, now want to come into SAG and serve other actors? Um, I realized that over the years in my career, the most important thing that has protected my ability to not only work in safe conditions, but also earn uh, fair wages, as well as protecting uh, what I should earn when the products continue to get resold is the contracts. And I felt like after a while, uh, in order for me to do what I can to protect that, not just for my family, but for members here locally, I felt it, was, it would be helpful to get involved. Um, I also was encouraged by a lot of people because their point was, and I think it's valuable, that the members who really work, and, and members, other members know as visible members who work the contracts a lot, it's important that they get involved uh, because they are visible on sets, they're known for their body of work as a performer, and you can have real influence. And seeing as how I wanted to raise a family here and I wanted to enable other performers here to be able to raise a family and live here, I thought I could, I could make some real impact. And I think we've done that over the last 17 years now. I've been doing it. The business has evolved. Um, you know, we had some lean years and now we're going through a stretch where times are really great. And that's a result of a lot of work by a lot of people and also a lot of work by our incredible staff uh, that has now really put Atlanta on the mark as a major production center in the world. So SAG is now SAG-AFTRA. When and why did this happen? Why did the two come together? Uh, well, we merged in 2012, and it was a process of a number of years where basically both unions were representing pretty much the same actors for the same work. And so the unions ended up competing against themselves uh, for uh, work in film and television. And finally got to the point where economically it was really detrimental to the performers uh, after um, the negotiations in 2008 uh, and finally we put together a merger plan for the unions that the members supported and uh, once the members truly felt the economic pain of having two unions they finally voted to merge. We always used to, we did have previous merger plans where we forecasted how if we, this keeps going, there will be serious economic detriment to performers, the pension plans, et cetera. But it wasn't until it actually happened that members stepped up and said, yeah, we should do this. So it's, um, it's now uh, five plus years. How does an actor join SAG? Are there qualifications? Well, in order to be eligible for SAG after it, you um, have to get hired on a job and work under a contract. Um, once you get hired on a job, um, you then, uh, by the time you do your next job, typically you become what's called a must join. Uh, and then if you want to continue to work on union projects, you have to join. And here in a right to work state, you don't have to be a union member to work on a union job. That's the law of the state, and the, about half the states in the country now are right to work. Um, but what we tell performers is that when there comes a point when you're doing primarily union work and you're committed that this is a career, you're not going to just want to lock yourself into only being able to work in a right to work state. You want to still be able to work in Los Angeles or New York or other places that are union security states. And also, one thing that is increasingly valuable is the designation of being a SAG AFTRA member on your resume. Because to the industry, that tells them you're a committed professional. And there's tremendous value in that. So when you get to a point when the, the union work is more of the work that you're doing and you're in this long term, you're going to need to join for it's an investment in your career. Not to mention that you're gaining the benefits of the contracts and the protections that the union has fought for and struck for over the years. And the only way those survive is if all of us as members support them.
and invest in them. Um, I tell kids all the time, it's not like death and taxes. The contracts are not guaranteed. You know, they're only here for as long as we're going to stand on them. So if you are benefiting from those and you have the idea of doing this as a career, then eventually you're going to want to join. SAG Basics. What does SAG do for actors? Well, like I mentioned before, the, the, the main thing, that our, our greatest value as a union that SAG-AFTRA has is the contracts. Because the contracts guarantee working conditions and wages, residuals when the work gets resold, uh, that protects performers long term and also guarantees a minimum wage. Um, and that's the most important thing that we do. The, the union, the administration, the, the elected members as a body also then continue to find ways to protect actors on sets, uh, also uh, work on legislative issues, um, issues that affect the working performer, uh, also relationships with people in the industry, agents, casting directors, etc. So that we do the best we can to create a positive working environment for all performers. Um, and those protections are enormously valuable because uh, most members struggle to make a living in this business. They need all the protection they can get. Uh, and so that's the greatest value to the union is those contracts and then the protections that they provide. And then at the same time, the union as a whole, if an actor has a problem, they have an issue with a claim or have an issue with safety or harassment on the set, they have a body that will fight for them. They don't have to go hire an attorney or investigators or people on their own if they have an issue or a problem. They initially, they immediately have an organization that is prepared to help them. When you get that first SAG job and you are now SAG eligible, does that ever expire? Will you always be eligible? Yeah, you'll always be eligible. And being here in Georgia, I guess what does SAG eligibility does that help the actor? Is that something they should put on their resume? Should they announce it? Because once you're SAG eligible, you can work SAG projects, correct? Well, it's a right to work state. You can work SAG after projects without being eligible because it's a right to work state. The designation on your resume does nothing. Uh, first of all, it's not an official designation by the union. It's something that people out in the industry have made up as something to put on your resume. It really doesn't make a difference. As a matter of fact, I've heard more often lately, <clears throat> because with the influx of the tax incentives and the work that that has brought, 98% of the incentivized work is union, which has brought people to Atlanta who are used to working union from union security states. So they're looking for that SAG after designation on performers' resumes. If they see this thing called SAG-E, which by the way, we're not SAG anymore, <clears throat> If they say SAG E to a lot of the union experienced professionals, to them that says, first of all, they're not sure what it says, but also it says that you're not committed. Okay, you're eligible. I mean, you know, if you're over 16, you're eligible to get a driver's license. You're not going to broadcast that to everybody. Um, I'm eligible for a lot of things, but I don't put that on my resume. Uh, you're either committed or you're not. So basically, uh, you're better off not putting it on there. Uh, until you're ready to join and then once you join you put SAG-AFTRA on your resume and then you're going to truly get the benefits of what that designation means. Yeah.